This is like the the the, the 14 year old opening a Christmas present and he has a gun now. Okay. This is like the gun that you have under your basement, uh, under your bed that you haven't touched in like five years. Not like your first ever airsoft gun. Yeah, this is this is like this is like this is my first ever airsoft gun. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome. Today we're looking at this bad boy right here. An officially licensed H&K 416 full auto AEG airsoft rifle. And man, this one is extreme entry level. But the performance just might surprise you and it just might be a good option if you're on a shoestring budget or if you're new to airsoft and want to own a gun but not sure you're going to stick with it yet. Or if you're looking to do some indoor CQB only, this one might be for you. And this was provided to us for review by Airsoft Station where you can pick it up for $129.99. And we're gonna go over all of it, so let's see what's in the box. Oh, what's in the box? In the magazine. I'm not gonna break into this stuff. Um, clearly, we've got a little pack of BBs, if you can see there. A little pack of BBs, probably 0.12s, if I had to guess. There is a sling, looks like our owner's manual, a pair of nunchuck batteries a jamming rod and a small wall charger with small to me adapter all right so let's see it's definitely definitely uh lightweight plastic this is a introduction to airsoft i would guess i mean it looks the part it's got all the traditional styling of the hk416 it's got that almost kind of a built-in raised riser because of the gas system of the real the real deal quad picatinny rails up front on the foreguard got your hk416 branding you even got your traditional Boomerang's warning text, but it definitely is one of the lightest airsoft AGs I have held, if not the lightest. It feels pretty solid, but the light weight would really lead me to believe that this could probably break pretty easily. It does have a winding metal high cap magazine. Not ambient on the release, just the release on the right side. Safe, semi, and fully automatic, so it'll be interesting to see when we fire this guy how well it fires. Adjustable crane stock, faux forward assist, charging handle. Um, it does have a hop up, rotary style hop up, so it can't be all bad. It has adjustable sights, front and back. Interestingly, the sights are metal, which is kind of odd considering how much plastic is in the rest of the gun. There you go, you just take the buttstock all the way off, and the battery's going to go down in your buffer tube. It is small to me. All right. There you go. There's a the full deal. Okay, so we did not get off to the most auspicious of beginnings when Soggy number two came into the picture and got his hands on the gun. But in full transparency, we're gonna show you that. Wow, this thing sucks. Hey, be nice. The BB started dropping before they even reached the fence. Let's kind of hop up. You might have to adjust the hop up. All right, to be fair, the gun's got a decent hop-up system, and once we adjusted it, things got better. Surprisingly better. Oh, 250. 250. Well, this one's the one that it advertised 340 with .12s, so at .20 it's shooting 240. You can probably still use it indoors. That's actually pretty good. Of course, I am running a 11.1 in that one, which I probably shouldn't be doing. All right guys, so here's the deal. This is an extreme entry level gun. But in case you haven't noticed, the price of everything, including and especially airsoft guns lately, has absolutely been skyrocketing. But getting your foot in the door with an HK416 replica at just $129.99 that looks pretty cool, that fires accurate, has a decent hop-up system, and a really good rate of fire as good as many higher-end models, that's worth considering. 
Granted, this is probably going to be just a CQB only gun, firing at only 250 feet per second with 0.2 gram BBs, but even your higher end models are shooting between 300 and 330 when calibrated for CQB, so 250 isn't that bad, especially under 100 feet indoors. So guys, tell us what you think about this extreme budget Airsoft AG in the comments below. And if you haven't already, join us on our Airsoft journey by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video when they come out. And until then, we'll see you next time. This is my first ever Airsoft gun. <laughs>